This video is a little bit longer than normal, so I hope you guys watch all the way through. There's a lot of exciting things that happened this month, and I really want you guys to know what's going on. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do it. Uh, it'll help you get notified whenever I post a video and update you guys. And also subscribe to the newsletter if you're not. Uh, link is in the description below as well. All right, let's go. Okay, we got the table set up in the booth and we're about to start service and uh, I'll bring you guys along for that. To accept your beliefs and the truth that you want them to follow. I struggle with that for at least worldview or your beliefs is what forms your values and drives your behavior. But the question I struggle with, now most of these things like this, I can come up in a matter of several minutes with the answer to almost anything. This one took me over a year. <laughs> I've experienced doubt during my time as a Christian, either in the past or presently. In fact, uh, several years ago, Barna Research did a study where they asked around uh, 900 people or so who had identified as Christian either presently or in the past they asked these people. So the video you just saw was of Matthew giving a talk. He spoke a lot on Monday at uh, another one of our Savior's church campuses in uh, Lafayette area. And he uh, gave a few talks on Monday. He gave a talk on Tuesday, which is what you just saw. He did awesome. It was so cool to see him give some of these talks that he's been working on for a very long time. Right now, I'm about to leave the hotel and Josh and take Josh to the um, church to get ready. Today, Ben Bennett is going to be speaking all day. He has three main talks that he does talking about the wholeness apologetic. If you want to learn more about that and dive deep into what that actually means, free to thrive book. That's how you're going to do it and also the resolutionmovement.org. That's kind of the hub for all of our content for this project. So you can check it out there. And I gotta go to Josh, so I'll see you guys at the church. Or what? No, Look, not. a speed lump. No, Wait I, for I, it. How do you say it? Lafayette. 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 So wholeness means this completeness that comes from living into God's design. This completeness that comes from living. Hey! All right, so we are rolling on out of Lafayette. Okay, now we're dropping off Matthew at his house before I go unload all these books. And look. We went from road lumps to road humps. I don't know why speed humps and speed lumps are a thing in other places. If they're around you, I've never seen them before, only speed bumps. I'm back from Lafayette, I'm home. It's really cold out. If you saw on the video, the, I, the roads were uh, covered in snow and ice and things like that, well, at least for Texas. Um, it was a really great time being in Lafayette with Josh and spending time with him and also the other speakers on our team. It was very, very encouraging to see what God is doing through them and to see them all together as well. That's really cool. I've seen them each speak uh, at different events, but this is the first time I've been able to see all of them speak at the same event and you guys as well. So that was very, very cool and I hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot that we're going to be doing in the future. And uh, I'm going to tell you real quick, let me get changed and settled in, and I'll tell you what we got going on next. Okay. Well, in the next couple months, there's going to be a lot going on. We're, I'm about to get really busy with different um, events that I'm helping to coordinate. For the book that came out, Free to Thrive, you saw the picture of it earlier, we are filming a video series. 
for that book, a Bible study video series. And Thomas Nelson, our publishing company, is going to be putting on the production and I'm helping to coordinate it. And also I will be, I will be interviewing uh, different people that have been impacted by the book and that have uh, a strong relationship with the whole conversation about how to overcome the hurts and struggles in our life and become free to thrive with Jesus and with other relationships. So I'm gonna be bringing you along for that journey as well. Also for uh, Matthew Tingblad, he is doing a video series called the Backstage Christianity. And we have been looking at multiple different churches and things like that to use their stage area as a film set with a good backstage area that kind of fits that raw nature behind the scenes of Christianity. Uh, love you guys so much. Oh, uh, the Remember book is done. It is edited. It is printed. And I'm getting them in the mail. Please, if you want one, and I have not sent you physical mailings before, or you're not sure that I have your address, send me your mailing address. I would love to send you one. It's free. It's a gift. It's kind of a yearbook from the last year where I cover just key memories and things that Jesus accomplished through us. And it's really special for me to put together at the beginning of each year to remember the year before. And also just a way for us to worship Jesus together and to rejoice and remember what God has done in our life as a ministry team. So if you remember last video from last month, from January, I told you that Matthew was interviewed on a podcast talking about this kind of overwhelming amount of information that, that we encounter every day and how to work through it. The podcast is live. The link is in the description. It's with Probe Ministries. And the podcast is called Head and Heart. So make sure you check that out. It's a great listen. And I can't speak highly enough of it. The content's great. The interview is great. Probe is a great ministry. I love what God is doing through them. They also do a lot of apologetics. And so the conversation was just very, very encouraging and very insightful. And I think it'll be a blessing to every single one of you listening. Also, some other personal things that happened this month. Valentine's happened and guess where I took Sarah? Sarah and I got dressed to the nine and we went to Chick-fil-A. So for us, Chick-fil-A was actually the first Valentine's date I ever took her on. My uh, papa, he was in his late nineties, was living with my parents and I was living there as well. He moved into our house after his wife, my Mimi, passed away and we were helping take care of him. So for a date, what Sarah and I did is we went and got Chick-fil-A. Uh, there's kind of some memories we have there and so it was special and whatnot. And then we took uh, a long country drive and listened to um, a special sermon. And then we came back to my parents' house and we watched a Disney princess movie on VHS and we watched it with my papa. One of the first things that he said to us whenever we sat down is he kind of leaned over to me, said, he goes like this to me, That's, he did that a lot. You gonna marry that girl? It was really embarrassing. Um, but Valentine's was also the anniversary of when he passed away. So it was just a really special memory for me and Sarah to go to Chick-fil-A dressed to the nine on Valentine's. Also, this month, my sister-in-law and her husband found out they're pregnant. So you're taking a photo. Yeah. Uh, and I'll have to give y'all a tour. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> To what? <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. Whoa! <laughs> nice! Oh my God. This is a huge answer to prayer. Uh, they've announced it publicly, so I'm free to announce it. Be praying. Uh, this is a rather. Um, they've been trying for a long time, and so it's, it's very exciting. 
and it's not a normal pregnancy. They're having twins, uh, fraternal twins is uh, what we know so far. So be praying for a healthy mom and healthy babies um, for the next few months. And I'll be keeping you guys posted on that. I already have two nephews on uh, the Woodruff side of the family. It's gonna be really exciting to have little kids running around on uh, my wife's side of the family. So a lot of big things happen this month and I'm gonna be bringing you guys along for the other stuff we talked about and the things that are coming in um, March and April. That's when a lot of those uh, filmings are happening. So it's gonna get busy and you're gonna come along with me. I love you all so much and always remember what God is doing in your life.